Okay, we are going to solve practice problem 4.4 part B. So this is another circuit of trans resistance amplifier, but we have more complicated resistance. We have R1, R2, and R3. And then we need to show that V0 over IS is equal to this formula on the right hand side. Okay, uh, let's remember that in op M, the voltage between inputs is the same. So VA is equal to VB. And the current that goes in into port terminal is zero. This is an ideal op M. And right off the bat, we can see that this terminal of op M is connected to ground. So we know that the voltage in port terminals is equal to zero. So here V is equal to zero. And let's name this node as node A and this node as node B. Okay, we need to do KCL in two places, in the node A and in the node B. Okay, let's assume where the current goes. So here we assume the current goes there. And in op M, just assume the current going in. And then R1, maybe going there. R2, maybe going there. And then R3 may be going here. Okay, so now let's do KCL at VA. KCL at not A. And we have the current that goes in is IS here. And the current that goes out is this current to the op amp, which is equal to zero because of this property. So we have zero plus VA minus VB divided by R1. And remember that VA is equal to 0. So I will have 0 here. And so from here, I will have IS is equal to minus VB divided by R1. Okay, let's have this as equation number one. So let's move on to KCL at node B. So at node B, we have the current that goes in is here. So that is equal to VA minus VB divided by R1. And then the current that goes out is here. That is VB. So I will have VB minus this voltage. This voltage is V0. Let's just write V0. And then it's divided by R3. And then this current here plus VB minus this node, so this node is zero. I will have the ground there divided by R2. Okay, now let's plug the VA is equal zero. So we can just erase this. And then we have this one. IS is equal to minus VB divided by R1. So if we can, we can rearrange this into VB is equal to minus i s multiplied by r1 so let's just write that and then we plug vb here so this minus sign will cancel each other so i will have i s r1 divided by r1 and then this vb will be minus i s r1 divided by r3 then we will have this vb over r1 vb over r2 i mean so i will have plus minus i s R1 divided by R2. 
so this plus and minus can be written as this one so we still have minus v0 here so let's just write minus v0 and what we need to do is rearrange this equations so this will cancel each other so r1 is gonna cancel so i will have is and i can spread this into minus is r1 divided by r3 minus v0 over r3 and then this one is minus is r1 divided by r2 okay now what can we do we group the term that has is to the right hand side and i will take the v0 over r3 to the left hand side so i will have v0 over r3 and then i will have this minus is minus is r1 over r3 and then minus is r1 over r2 okay our whiteboard is full let's move to the up of the to the top of the whiteboard okay now we can multiply both sides by r3 so i will have v0 is equal to minus is r3 and then minus is this r3 will cancel so i will have r1 and then this one is minus is r1 r3 divided by r2 okay now let's divide both sides by is so i will have v0 over is is equal to minus r3 minus r1 then minus r1 r3 over r2 okay now because we need to take out the r1 here so we'll have v0 over is let's take out the minus r1 so here we have r3 so we need to multiply it by 1 over r1 so we will have r3 over r1 and then this is minus r1 so i will have plus 1 and we have this minus r1 term going out so i will have plus r3 over r2 and we can rearrange the summation here to match the problem so we'll have v0 over is is equal to minus r1 plus r3 over r1 plus r3 over r2 and this is the same formula that us in the problem so we have this proved q e d okay thank you for watching hopefully i did not make any mistakes in the calculation let me know if i did so don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel thank you